Well, the patient goes over uh, to the holding area right before they get into the operating room, make sure it's all safe. Once it's all safe and they're all prepped, they have all their IVs in place, they get into the operating room. Large operating room staff uh, that, we, that we need. Uh, we get scrubbed up, you can see the instruments that are there, uh, and from that standpoint, the patient's in proper position. Uh, once the patient's in proper position, we go ahead and proceed with the surgery itself. And that's you right there, and Dr. Gunneman will be in the back, and let's hear you describe what's going on. Be able to remove the disc in and of itself, X-ray. Looks good here, but we want to make sure it looks good down at the foot of the bed. Orientation looks good here. This is just kind of cutting the disc itself as well. Stop. That's a great, great picture there. Great. Okay, go back to the other side, please. 90 and 0. Taking out a tremendous amount of disc in there. So we're kind of heading on down to the other side. We want to make sure we free the other side. Make sure we break through that. And that's gone through. Great. So now we know we've gone to the other side, no problem. So we've already taken most of the disc out, and we've gone to the other side, which is important. These trials now, we're trying to find what's the best match for this disc at this level. X-ray again. You might be able to see movement of the vertebral body, in other words, that big box, as we put this in. See how it kind of jumps up a little bit? So it's going to orient itself well. Want to make sure that the disc is removed so that the graft is sitting on what we call the end plates or the edges of the um, vertebral bodies so that there's not disc that's there. We're just marching our way up from a small graft to a bigger graft to a bigger graft and a bigger graft. You can really see that movement on that vertebral body there. That was very impressive. Give it a minute or two to kind of relax and, and expand a little bit. So now the disc has been removed. We're now in an area where we just need to kind of follow <coughs> what kind of graph we're going to put in. Let's go to the next one. Hey, it's a big space. One of the biggest spaces I've really operated on. But this gentleman's had pain for the past five to six years of back pain. Uh, he's been through all conservative treatment, medications, therapy, injections. Let's go to 12 standard. Uh, since he's not any better, he felt he no longer could continue because he's excruciating pain that he's in. And it's the only disc in his back that's causing his pain, especially in the spine. That's right, please. Yeah, so we're down there. I think we're good. We've prepared the disc space. We've removed the disc. Uh, we're in good orientation. I think that's a very good placement for where the graft is going to go into. So once we get the graft here, and you know, I don't know if you all can see what the graft looks like, uh, but that's a uh, polyethylene uh, hard uh, graft. That inside the graft, we use medication and, and uh, components to help with the fusion. So we want to fuse one vertebral body, one big box, to the smaller box. Distract the area, and then also place um, good tension in the area. This is a uh, 12 standard 55. Thanks, Jen. So here's what the graph now looks like. A little different, but you can see uh, the markings on the graph. There's a deep, middle, and superficial markings that we'll see. And I want you to kind of pay close attention to the vertebral body itself, because hopefully we'll see it actually kind of move up. And there you go. You see it move up there? And I think that's in a good place right there. We should be. We haven't moved a lot, but instead of saying should be, I want to know exactly where we are. And that's great. That shows it that we're right on, right against the end plates, sitting nice. It's that, there's the thickness right there, and go just follow the end plates. 
that's the big graph. So, okay, let's get an X-ray. I was able to put a, I put a 12 standard 55 in. Um, Looks like it really jacked up the. Uh, it really did. You can actually see it, you know, when we were putting it in. 